guys, and welcome back to the channel. It, mm, frack. No. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Anna and I'm here answering the most frequently asked questions from our destination wedding in Cancun this past January. So I've got my little cards, I've got your questions, and you guys have about 10 seconds to stop this video like and subscribe to our channel for more videos coming up. But without further ado, we're gonna get right into the questions. So question number one, what resort did we get married at? So we stayed at the Royalton Splash Rivera Cancun in Mexico. We did book um, through a third party site called Destify and we stayed for about four days. The resort did come with, it was all inclusive and it came with an airport travel. I'm not going to get into the details of why some of that didn't happen for us, but long story short, we got married in January and there was a snowstorm, obviously, of course, when else to have one in Tennessee when it never snows, but it happened on our wedding week, so we did not make our trip in time, so we missed our airport travel. A lot of things were not refundable, especially because we booked through a third party site. We'll get into that a little bit more because one of you guys asked me a little bit more about my experience with Destify, so that'll come later in the video, so stay tuned. But yes, we stayed at the Royalton Splash Rivera Cancun, um, and honestly, all in all, I give the resort a 7 out of 10. Um, it was very, very clean. Um, there were children there. It was a kid-friendly resort, and we did that on purpose because we did have uh, non-adults at our wedding, so we had to make sure it had um, opportunity for children to be there. But um, there was minimal kids. I don't know if it was because it was after the holiday season, January, middle of January, so not a lot of people were traveling. So that is a tip if you are thinking about when should you plan your wedding. A lot of discounts for January weddings, a lot of minimal children there because they're in school. So a lot of benefits to that time, but also we did get snowed in, so that was definitely a con. So think about the time of year that you're traveling before you book. But yes, I do give the resort a 7 out of 10. The food is the biggest thing that I saw in the reviews for the Royalton Splash Rivera Cancun Resort. It was very much subpar, but that's what you're going to get when you get in an all-inclusive resort. We did that because we had a lot of guests traveling from a lot of different locations, and we kind of wanted to take care of that for them so that they weren't worried about going out, paying for food additionally, so we made sure we got an all-inclusive resort. I do give it a 7 out of 10 for multiple reasons, but we'll get into those later. Um, question number two, what was our experience with Justify? Perfect question. So like I mentioned, it is a third party wedding planning site. Um, little story time sidebar, our original wedding was supposed to be in Brazil. We actually had our wedding venue already booked in Brazil, but we had a lot of last minute changes. A maid of honor dropout it just did not go as planned so destify came in clutch because it was a last minute book um it was affordable reasonable we got very quick responses as far as uh, coordinators reaching out to us to help us plan and so we just kind of narrowed it down destify does have a variety of options for you to choose from so you are not locked into cancun or mexico if you don't want to they even had some spaces in the united states but um, there was several places I remember seeing some Jamaica, Dominican Republic, um, America, Mexico, Cancun, you know, all the things. There were so many different options, but we did what was best for our guests and it was a last minute book. Um, it's easy to use if you're planning alone. So I did not have a wedding coordinator here in the States. I did not have a maid of honor for my wedding. I didn't have bridesmaids. I didn't have any additional help. So it was really, really good for me because it came with the coordinator. It came with the planner. It came with those things in our package. So it was really good. Um, communication, like I said, they reached out really quickly. Um, but one thing that I did not like about the communication with Destify was that it was majority through email. And since I've never been married before, I've never used a coordinator before, I don't know if that's typical, but it made it very, very difficult to plan when most things were communicated through email. So, you know, if they're out of office, you have to wait two or three weeks before you get a response back or they're sending pictures and then it, it's just very easy to get lost in translation. We were able to speak on the phone here and there. I would say I spoke to my 
planner maybe five times within the process, a lot of things were rushed. So if you are planning your destination wedding months in ahead, I feel like destination wedding or Destify would be an option for you because you have more time to plan. I was in the time crunch. I had limited options. I had no help and I had never been a part of anything like this before. So it was a little bit hard for me. Um, and then as far as the third party site goes, I want you guys to be very aware of what that comes with. So just like if you go through booking.com or Expedia when you're gonna book a trip or a hotel or any other service, please be aware that you're gonna get treated differently once you get to the resort or to the hotel. So even just past this past weekend, I went to a hotel and because we booked through a third party site, customer service is a little bit limited to you or it was to us anyway. So what I mean by that is if there are issues with your booking and you're at your hotel, your hotel will not help you. They were very adamant about saying, I can't help you, please reach out to Destify. I will also mention that most of the resorts or places on Destify, you can just go through the place itself. So Royalton Rivera Splash Cancun Resort has their own separate wedding planning coordinating department. So if you didn't go through a third party site like Destify, you could have easily just, I could have gone through, I could have gone through the hotel itself and I feel like I would have gotten more help. One thing I'll mention, I was really pissed about it and I was like totally bridezilla mode when I got there and noticed that there was like multiple other weddings going on there, which I definitely expected. But I saw that one of the doors had like welcome, um, had like all of this stuff. We did not have that because we booked through Destify. So going through the actual resort may have been better. I won't say because a lot of our plans did change due to the weather us arriving a day late but a lot of things they were not able to service us for and we had to reach out to justify which is obviously just a whole mess you want some on-site help and that just was not offered to us most of the time so that's something to think about if you're looking at going through justify you might also just want to check on the option of going strictly through the resort itself but um, I give Destify overall a seven out of 10. Um, they were pretty responsive. Um, they had affordable prices. Um, things were very in line and in order outside of the way we communicated through email. So I will say, I think I said this in my previous video, it might be helpful to have a completely different email address just for your wedding, especially if you're gonna go through Destify because they send you so many things so many things you don't want to miss out on so many things get lost you it's just filling up your box there was just i just i'm i'm reliving the moments the anxiety the stress that i felt like trying to find emails so one tip that i would say is if you are going to go through a third party site go ahead and make a separate email so that all of your destify emails can go to one place and you know exactly where to look you don't have anything deleted, you don't have any spam, it's just for your wedding. And then you can delete it after or do whatever you need to do. So my experience overall was a seven out of 10 with Destify. I kind of wish that I would have just gone strictly through the, the resort itself and dealt with them specifically so that everything would have been able to be handled on site. But if you are not on a time crunch, if you didn't wait to the last minute like I did, you might have a better experience with Destify. I just know I was working, I was in school, I was doing graduation, I had so much going on and I was doing it all by myself. So sometimes it was a bit confusing, but I give Justify seven out of 10 overall. Question number three, what wedding package do we use? So Justify as well as the resort itself comes with wedding packages that you can choose from. Some differ based on what you're doing. So they have like a wedding package or an anniversary package or you know just a symbolic ceremony those kinds of things you can choose based on what you're looking for obviously when we're getting married we did do a smaller wedding because it was destination wedding so not everyone could make it so we chose the refined package it just made more sense for us to choose that it came with an included 30 guest stop right there let me let me point this out because when I realized that we had 30 guests could come to our wedding, it included Twaka and I. So 
when I realized you only have 28 guests, that definitely freaked things out, but they do give you an option to add guests past the 30. Obviously it just costs money uh, separately. So it would cost an extra money to have them there. It would cost extra money for the seating. It would cost extra money for the dinner and the reception. So all of those things cost extra money. It's not like a one-time extra guest fee. So if you have outside of 28 guests with the refined package, you have to pay separate additional fees for each one of those things. So ceremony, reception, food, all of that is a separate additional cost for each guest. So we made it work. We kept it, I think we kept it, maybe we went over maybe three people, so it wasn't too bad. But another question that I just kind of lumped in here, someone asked what kind of ceremony we had. We had a symbolic ceremony because maybe you guys didn't know this, but we were married for a year before we actually had our symbolic ceremony. So we had already had our civic ceremony and I definitely advise you to do that if you're doing, whether you're doing Destify or not, if you are doing a destination wedding, the best bet is to go ahead and be officially married in the United States before you travel to do it. It made the process so much easier. So we had a symbolic wedding because we were already married. You did, We did have to bring our wedding certificate or marriage license, whatever you call it. We needed to have that there for proof, but I don't even remember anyone asking. So it was basically just a symbolic ceremony. Um, perks of this um, package, we did have a discounted spa rate, which I feel like they could have just given that to us, but I'm being a brat. Uh, we also, it came with chairs, tables, basic things. So kind of like the skeleton of the wedding, not really the decorations, but like the plates. It came with seating and tables. You do have the option to upgrade all of those, and we did. We upgraded what we wanted to, what was necessary to, um, but it did come with your standard things. So if you have other decorations, maybe some things that you don't have to spend money on would be your seating because they came with plain white seats that look beautiful at the wedding. We got married on a terrace, so it worked out. Um, a con of the package was, not even just the package in general, going through Destify or the site, you do have to make sure that at least 75% of your guests are staying at the resort. So most of your guests need to stay at the resort. A perk to that though is for every three people, three rooms booked, you get an additional, I think every, I don't remember off the top of my head, but every so many people that book, you get money back. So that helps there. We got some money back for that with that package. Question number four, where did you get your arch? This was the most asked question. A lot of people asked about our arch that we had for the wedding. It was pretty much the only decoration that we had because we got married on a beautiful terrace overlooking the beach. So the ambiance was the vibes and the decorations and we were also trying to save money and it worked out. But we got our arch from Alibaba in spirits of saving money. I cannot recommend our vendor and using Alibaba enough. It was amazing. The communication was perfect. Pictures were provided. Um, a video of how to set it up once we got it. The shipping came right on time. Um, they were able to customize things. Um, so our arch actually matched the table runner for our reception table or our dinner table for uh, dinner time. So I have the prices written down here. The arch itself was $239 with an additional $120 for five six foot table runners. So we had kind of the banquet style. I don't know what it's called where you have all the tables and everybody eats at one table. We had it that style and we had six tables for our guests. So it sat about five people each table. And so we had six runners to run through the table and the arch. And that was a total of $638.02. So way more affordable than anything we would have paid for in the States. The shipping was uh, $225 and that was because we had to get express shipping. Just keep in mind that we did a lot of things on a time crunch. So with that being said, I did expect to pay a little bit more for shipping and it was express. And then express kind of means that they're gonna ship it over plane. There was an option for non-rush shipping, which would be by boat or over water. And that was a little bit cheaper, but it is coming from China. So I did expect higher shipping. But even with the shipping being $225 or, yeah, the shipping, the express shipping was $225. 
it was still cheaper than everything that we were quoted and it still was cheaper than what the um resort or Destify was offering for an option and we chose Alibaba because we did not like any of the options of the flowers from the resort. They just did not fit our style and I just could not see myself paying money for something that I did not like and it turned out to be really beautiful. They had way more options and she could customize it however I wanted to so I'm super happy. I will drop the link to the vendor that we use in the description box down below but if you have any other questions about the process feel free to drop a comment. I would love to help you out with that. I would just say, keep in mind, it's coming from, I think it, yeah, it comes from China and I don't remember exact shipping, but it got here before the wedding. I ordered the arch in December. So it came pretty quickly. It didn't even take 30 days. So that's awesome. We also had our boxes, our little gift boxes. They were from Alibaba. I can say the same thing. Communication was amazing. Um, he customized it exactly how he wanted it. He sent us proof pictures before. He was very responsive. So I will also link his information for his vendor shop or whatever you call it in the description box down below. I cannot stress how much I loved using Alibaba for cutting costs with our weddings. I suggest obviously you want to do it in advance so that you don't have to get express shipping and so you're not on a crunch. But it was great. I would recommend it a thousand times over. They have so many products. Um, this is not sponsored, but <laughs> can Alibaba sponsor? I don't know. But either way, I loved it. Uh, I will drop our vendor information in the description box down below. So check there. Question number five, how was shipping to the resort? This question brought back emotions and anxiety, but yes, um, although it was a wedding I won't say it's, it's not strictly for weddings. So I understand why they did not allow us to ship our items to the resort. That would have been so much easier, but they did not allow us to do that. So we had to ship our items from Alibaba to our house. We ended up having to pay extra for the checked bags because we actually brought all of our decorations from home. Um, so it ended up being a little bit more expensive than just like the regular $35 check fee because we had about five checked bags or boxes because we shipped our boxes there. Another thing with that was that some of our things did not arrive to the resort with us, which was chaos, but they ended up getting there on time for the wedding, which was definitely a blessing. But um, I would have loved to have the option to just strip it or ship it straight from China to the resort, but they did not allow us to do that for spacing reasons. And I definitely understand, but it, it just would have been a lot easier to just ship it to the resort. Um, and I just didn't like any of the options that the resort offered. And I think that is mostly because they ask you your budget ahead of time. And I think they were only showing me options within my budget. And I'm like, I want to go over budget. <laughs> like, I'm a girl. I want to go over budget. But they, they were strict about showing us what we could afford. And I'm like, so I just bought things to go over budget. But anyway, so it was a bummer that we could not ship things and with that being said all of our decorations and everything that we bought to brought to the resort for the wedding we had to leave it there because i wasn't going to pay extra checked bags to come back with a big huge arch so we ended up just leaving it at the resort we could have reused that we could have sold it i wish we had thought more ahead with that so again like i stressed in the last video definitely plan ahead you don't want to do what i did but it ended up working out so hey i'm a wing it girl i just wing life but um we had to leave our arch all of our wedding flowers i even left my dress at the resort so i just planned for it to be a party super low-key chill and just like a celebration so shipping to the resort was trash question number six where did i get my dress from so in spirits, like the rest of this video, this was a super budget friendly wedding. My husband and I paid for the wedding mostly on our own. Um, you know, obviously people sent money as a gift, but we paid for everything on our own and I'm 23. So, you know, so I got my dress from Lulu's. It was a total of $134. Great fit. It was okay material. I'll say, um, the customer service, obviously, if you shop at Lulu's, you know, is amazing. I got my earrings from Lulu's as well. The dress was cute. I ended up leaving it there because it got dirty on the beach, which is another reason why I did not want to spend a lot of money on this dress. So super, super quick dress. Um, the shoes were for Meshki. And then there was an option for the resort to do my hair and makeup. 
I did that. It was about $100 to get it tested, and I just I was like, no, this is not me. As you guys can see, I don't like to go overboard with makeup. I pretty much do my brows, put on some mascara, and I'm ready to go. So they overdid my makeup, and I ended up not having hair and makeup done by the wedding. One of Twaka's amazing aunts did my wedding makeup and hair, and it was just obviously beautiful. I loved it. I almost cried because I was like, oh my god, I didn't even think about what I was going to do after I canceled having the resort do my makeup. I was just like, I'll do it. <laughs> I was just going to go out there looking like this. So thank God for her. She was an angel sent from heaven to do it in, in time with that. But yeah, everything came from Lulu's with the exception of my shoes. They were from Meshki. I love Meshki. I wanted to get my dress from there, but they just didn't have anything that was speaking to me. Lulu's has amazing options that you can ship it back. Um, I think my dress came with a little tear or something and they allowed me to ship it back and they resent me a new one. So awesome service. I love Lulu's. You should love Lulu's too. That wraps up the questions for this video. A lot of the questions I kind of combined into one so this video would not take forever to do. If you have questions that I did not answer on any of these cards, feel free to drop a comment in the description box down below. Don't do it there. Drop it in the comment box. <laughs> I'm new to this. Um, drop it in the comment box. I will get back to you. Some of you guys even reached out to me through DM, which was awesome. It really got me going. I was like, oh, I should answer these questions. You can also reach out to me through DMs on Instagram. I'll put our uh, Instagram tagline or whatever you want to call it in the description box with everything else that I'm going to throw down there for you guys to check out. But if you have any other questions about the wedding, anything that I said in this video, feel free to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos coming up. I hope this answers your questions. Till next time, you